little bit more of like a mental health walk. I'm just kind of like in a funk. Cut off. Mm -hmm. Cut off. No rules. OB is anything goes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday. I love the back detailing. Just you. We love Jesus around here. You guys know that. Okay. Amazon fall time. Okay, I'm loving the, the color. It's this season, the villains are the girls, 100%. Hey guys, welcome back, missed you. It is Wednesday. I wanted to go ahead and pick up the camera and start this week's vlog. It's the afternoon and I think I'm gonna go on kind of a long walk with Rue. I was gonna do my Pilates, but I forgot it's Wednesday, so I've got yoga tonight. Sometimes when I do a harder workout before that, I'm like so shaky to get through yoga because yoga, the vinyasa that we do is kind of like a strength yoga. Anyways. So I was like, you know what? I still want to move my body because a little bit more of like a mental health walk than it is a workout walk. I'm just kind of like in a funk this morning. Um, and so yeah, I want to put on a good podcast and just walk in the sunshine. It is 64 degrees, so nice and pretty warm. I'm going to try this podcast, not try it. I listened to Jamie Ivey for years, like way back when she first started her podcast and I actually don't really listen to her much anymore unless there's like a guest that she has. So this one looked good and like it would kind of be encouraging for my headspace right now. Guys, this is so bad. Look at my camera situation. It's like, which I guess you can't really see it because it's behind here, but see how this is like hanging off. I have new screws coming from Amazon, but it's making like, like look at this. I can't even get, there we go. Ugh. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's a new coffee shop that I think I'm gonna try and just bring my laptop and kind of get some work done just to break up the day. I think I need to get out of the house. I, I've had this um, this headache that's been for honestly the last two weeks and I've been Googling. I've never, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's almost like it comes on every probably like three to five minutes and it's just like a sharp pain on the left side of my head. It only lasts like two seconds, but it's just really intense. It's like, I merely have to scrunch my eye and I'm like, and then I can breathe again. Um, and it's like, like never ending, kind of like every five, three to five minutes. Sometimes it'll go a lo little bit longer. It's woken me up in the middle of the night where I'm having to get up and take ibuprofen. It's weird, like when something is like that and it's constant and continual, if any of you guys have like a chronic illness, like I feel like I can kind of understand in that sense like what that would be like with a pain that doesn't go away. Anyways, I took some ibuprofen because I literally couldn't work and I just don't really wanna to have to go to the doctor. I'm gonna be drinking more water. Yes, baby. What do you need? You need some cuddles, okay. Okay, I'll cuddle you. I'll cuddle you, sweet boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, you wanna sit in my lap while I cuddle you? Okay, here, let me cross my legs, there we go. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that is so sweet, buddy. I love cuddling you. I need your hug today. Mama's not feeling good. Also, the house is kind of a wreck because um, because I haven't felt good. So, sorry, this is sort of like a downer way to start out the vlog, but this is real life. And I'm gonna leave the camera rolling because I have a feeling he's gonna ask me something else and I want you guys to see. That is a sweet boy, huh? Oh, you giving yourself kisses? Oh, you wanna go outside now? Okay, let's go on a walk. I was just I was just telling them that I wanna go on a walk. You wanna come with me? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming to cardio because I'm freezing. 
Oh, it's freezing out here. I was like trying to pretend that it was so enjoyable, but it was honestly freezing. So we're back and I actually think we're hanging out with friends tonight. Going to some like outdoor farmer's market in Ocean Beach. So I'll bring you because apparently it's like a cool experience. I'm not really sure. We like rarely go to OB. It's sort of like a wild town down there, I feel. <laughs> but I am already feeling better. That walk and just being honest, even though it was cold being outside and my head's feeling good. So just like going to be thankful for that for the time being. And... Since we're not going to yoga now, I'm like, should I do one of my Pilates workouts? I'm gonna get the house situated first because it's just, since I'm feeling good and it's driving me crazy. I still haven't even unpacked from LA this past weekend when I went to go see my sister. So let's get this house situated. <laughs> Thankfully found some parking. It's pretty wild down here. OB, um, basically like I was saying like, no rules. OB is anything goes. Wild. And I've only been down here probably one other time, but it, it was Lovely. so obvious. Like the, be, yeah, the vibe. the vibe is just like so, so quirky and different. Now we're walking to- I'm mad at myself not wearing socks, honestly. It's like colder today. Yeah, it's so cold. I'm so glad I wore this jacket because <laughs> I'm like shivering. I think once we get into the sun, it will feel a little better. But walking now to head to Main Street to meet our friends. Or are we gonna eat something? Because I'm hungry. I'm, I'm really hungry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> me too. I don't know if that was planned, but I'm sure- I'm sure we'll they'll want to eat yeah. too, yeah. yeah. Agreed. really sad but we were their friends and my friend's dad is a chiropractor so she called him and just to get some like advice and kind of tell him what I was feeling oh, yikes. this is what he recommended and thankfully she had it at her house this formula 303 it's like all natural magnesium a bunch of other like all kind of like natural herbs but I guess it's a natural relaxant so he he has me taking these tonight and in the morning and throughout the day tomorrow just to um once my magnesium levels up and to see if that kind of like helps things relax and then also 
to ice it and so she also had like a really nice like soft ice pack that she gave me so i'm gonna ice it take these and then make an appointment with a chiropractor because he thinks it's a neck spasm which sounds right because i do have like neck issues because of dance and then also because I'm a really bad sleeper and I sleep on my stomach a lot, which means my neck is like in these terrible positions. Uh, so I do feel better just because he was pretty like positive and he like wasn't stressed about it. He was like sounds like very familiar. He's in Florida, so he's not here. Otherwise, I would go see him. But hopefully just like praying that takes care of the issue and then it's nothing more serious. So I'm feeling OK right now because I had taken ibuprofen at dinner time because it had started again and I was just like in so much pain. So, yeah, I'm gonna wash my face. We're gonna watch a show. And I'm like really tired, so I'm actually ready to get into bed. But it was a fun night. And you guys, it's Easter week, which is so special. It's like Christmas, but we've got some special Easter things this weekend just to celebrate and to remember. Um, so I'll bring you guys along for some of that stuff. Yeah. Happy Friday. Look who's off work. Still in scrubs. Still in scrubs. We just grabbed so lunch. I got some clips at Himitsu, which is one of our favorite sushi places. So if you're in La Jolla, Himitsu has such good sushi. Right across the street from my office. Right too. across the street from his office. We love their lunch. They have like the little bento boxes. Tonight or today we just got a bunch of sashimi and sushi rolls. Now we're just for fun gonna go look at some houses down here in La Jolla. One of Christian's patients is a realtor and he had found some spots that he's like you have to see them. And so we're gonna go check them out for fun and it's sun is shining it's a gorgeous day I didn't even vlog at all yesterday you guys because my head situation was just like really annoying and at the end of the day I went and I got a massage to try and like work it out because the chiropractor can't get me in until Monday and I am feeling better like the vitamins definitely have helped the muscle relax where it's not like that sharp pain every three minutes it's it's now i've it's happened like probably only two or three times today i did wake up from it last night again but i was able to actually go back to sleep because it wasn't consistent so that's in the right direction we're just staying it's good friday so happy good friday it was so funny actually i was working and then my boss texted me and she's like um, I just got an email from you. Did you know that we have today off? And I was just like responded laughing and I, I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot because Christian had work today. So we just did our normal like morning routine. And so anyways, she was just laughing. She was like, well, have a great rest of your afternoon. Take some time off next week to make up for it and just enjoy your weekend. So that's what we're gonna do tonight we are going to our good friend's house they do a Passover dinner we went we did this with them last year and it's like really special kind of like just walking through the whole Passover dinner and it's really cool so I probably won't be like filming because it's sort of like an intimate special dinner but if I get any clips I'll put them in I wish you guys could feel this right now and see the sunshine Look at this. Ami, um, are you, you joining this what? time? Oh, you're going out. Are you joining out. this time? Crazy. I'll have to take photos too. Wait, I'll have to remove this phone. I didn't know if you had told you yet or not, and I was like... I know, I couldn't remember if I... Good morning. Happy Easter, you guys. We are dressed, Christian's finishing getting dressed, ready to go. We're running out the door, actually trying to get there early instead of very late <laughs> because we know it's gonna be, you know, crowded with Easter. This is my little dress 
from Urban Outfitters. I got this a few years ago, but it's so cute. I love the back de detailing. Ooh, and then this pretty little slit. So wearing some color for springtime. The sun's supposed to be out, but currently it's not. We are going to lunch at Alsie. You guys know Alsie with um, some of our friends after church. So it'll be a good morning. Unfortunately, I have to leave this little one here, even though he would really like to go to church. And it's so funny because at our church, people actually will bring their dogs, <laughs> not a ton, but a few. And they sit like in the back because it's sort of like an open air. It's not even open air, but they leave like doors open on both sides. Anyways, it's really cute. And Christian and I are always like, we should bring Rue one day <laughs> because it would just be so cute to have him in church with us. But Anyways, okay, let's get going. So good. The drink? Yeah. Coffee? Classic. Moniker. And it is out. We're back in sunny San Diego. And Jesus is risen. In Solana, uh, Alsi 101. I think we've come here so plenty, many times, plenty of times yeah. on the vlog. But I kind of uh, waited last minute to make a reservation anywhere, and so there was pretty much nothing available. <laughs> but Alsi coming through, we were like, had a spot for us. It's one of our favorite brunch spots, mm -hmm. so let's just keep it going. Church was great. Happy Easter, everyone! It's a great day. It's a happy day. You want to go? Sure. I saw the Chloe and Devin just pull up. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't realize they were here. Yeah. Okay. They, I just saw their truck. Okay. Yeah. Great. Back from lunch. And to no one's surprise, I'm already in cozies. I wanted to tell you guys about this, even though by the time you watch this, obviously it will be after Easter, but I'm still going to... Really? Oh my goodness. You giving them kisses? The Abide Meditation app, which I've talked about before, I love. And they had this, like a special meditation that came out every, it was like for the week of Easter, for Holy Week leading up to Easter. So it was eight days called Journey to the Cross. And I did a couple and I really, I like loved them. And so I told Christian and so we did some together too. It's like imaginative, meditation it's really cool and it's just really well done basically kind of like setting you back in that time and they started out with jesus coming in palm sunday and kind of creating the scene where you are there happening and like the sound effects in the background setting the scene really making you feel like you're there and kind of making everything feel real so I just wanted to tell you guys that because I'm going to keep doing, I didn't get through all of them this week, so I'll do a couple more this week. And it's just really good. Abide app. And I might have, um, it's Journey to the Cross. I might have like a link or something if you wanted to like have, if you wanted to have a free trial, I do use the paid version because it's so good and I use it so much. I find it worth it. It was really cool for both of us, like having that to kind of settle our hearts just kind of remember especially easter really snuck up on us like i hadn't i really it just came really fast and all of a sudden it was here and i really hadn't had a chance to feel like i was ready for easter sunday you know but that's okay and jesus knows that i didn't film anything at church you know of course because i wanted to be like present and in the moment if you're a believer like today is such a special day because we just remember why we have so much hope and why we can live with, with so much joy and peace even through really hard seasons like we have such a purpose of being in this life anyways we love jesus around here you guys know that and i hope that you've had a really good Easter, huh? Very cute little Easter bunny. Look at this cute little Easter bunny. Wow. <laughs> sorry, is that embarrassing? I'm sorry. 
okay amazon haul time have myself a little sobby bee because it's five o'clock on easter so we're celebrating right and help mom with my amazon haul opening all the packages he brought most of these up I, have you guys seen him carry packages up i can't remember if i've i've filmed that for youtube he loves carrying packages he gets so excited when we go to the mail room and he carries them up for me like even if it's a massive box i just have to like kind of give him a spot for him to grab and he literally will drag it if he can't physically lift it but these small ones are perfect because he'll just put them in his mouth and then he just trots all the way home and he loves it and all of our neighbors obviously <laughs> love seeing that they're always like taking photos of him and filming him because it is obviously so cute he knows he gets treats when he comes so because we had a gift card I was like, okay, I'm finally going to get a few things that have been on my wish list for a while. So, let's see what the first package is. Okay, first item, these Dear Foam slippers. So cute. Okay, let me show you my old ones. These are actually a gift from my sister from Christmas, but the ones that came in were not the right size, so I had to exchange. But look at my old Dear Foams how yucky like ew i mean they're clean and bleached i wash them all the time but they're just so old now so i have a fresh new pair and i went with the like you know kind of camely beigey color this time we're tearing my old little white ones these are really comfy i was like i've been obsessed with my dear phones i got those during the pandemic when I started working from home. And I love having slippers in the house, especially being in an apartment because I'm like really particular about walking in the house with shoes because when you have such a small space, just dirt, you know, a small space gets dirty so much faster if you're not careful. So I'm really weird about having shoes on in the house, which is why I love to have slippers. Yeah. Okay, oh yes, okay, oven mitts. <laughs> which is like not that exciting but also i've been using like these cloth ones that i think i got for our wedding so they're really old I've actually burned my hands because they're so thin now and worn down and i don't know why i just kept forgetting to get new ones but these are the rubbery ones so it's a lot more protective for your hands and after I got burned from using the cloth ones, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go for the rubber. These are KitchenAid, so they're really nice. And they're, it's just gonna be so nice to grab things. I saw this, of course, on TikTok. And they're just little silicone, they're called safe grabs, but you kinda, you can keep this one in your microwave. And then this one goes on top so that like, it doesn't splatter. Like normally you would use paper towel or piece of wax paper or something to cover in the microwave so that your microwave doesn't get messy and my microwave is really hard for me to clean because it's kind of too tall for me and so christian always has to do it and i'm just like ocd about having a clean house so i thought this would actually be perfect so that we always have something in there and then the microwave stays clean i can clean these really easy and also, they're like safe grab. So if something's hot, then I can use this. Like if a bowl's in there, then you just kind of pick it up like this. Oh, this one's a cute one. Okay. This is from Creative Co-op, which has adorable and really good quality home goods that you can get on Amazon. These little colanders, they're berry bowls. And I thought this would be really cute now that we're heading into spring. Constantly having fresh berries in the fridge. I thought these would be perfect so I can rinse them and then keep them in these cute little colanders versus just in the little plastic containers that they come in. Just a little upgrade. Little things like this just really make me happy. I have been trying to find a really good, nice pair of lifestyle tennis shoes that will go with dresses and stuff, especially for our trip to Italy. I went with to try. Reeboks. These are the Reebok Club C85 Vintage. I keep seeing these on my For You page on Lemonade. They're apparently the it shoe of this year. So I kind of, since I was already in the market, I just sort of snagged them before they got pulled out. Wow, they're really cute though. These, okay, the details are really cute. Okay, I'm loving the, the color. It's, it's kind of like an off-white. This is 
more white and then this is cream but even this is like that's why they call it vintage it's sort of like a vintagey white and then the detailing in here is really cute hmm, okay let's try these on see what we think wow i think they're actually really cute you guys not that you have to like jump on the trends as they're coming there are lots of trends that i never get on board with and i'm perfectly okay with that but like I said, I was already wanting a nice pair of like fashion tennis shoes. Okay, let's go look in the mirror, but I think I think I'm really gonna like these. Yeah, these are these are good. These are really good. They like fit my feet really cute. I probably need to tighten these a little bit. Oh yeah, they're nice. Like you like them? them? Aren't mm -hmm. they cute? Yeah, they're really nice. I feel like these would be good for Italy. Ooh. Yeah, why you're on it? I must be like there. Wildest season yet. Yeah. Very, very binge worthy. We were both talking um, how last season the villains were definitely the guys. Mm -hmm. um, this season the villains are the girls, 100%. There's some bad girls in this. Yikes. This, this group. Worth the watch. 